Hello everyone, my name is Musa Saleh and I'll be doing my TED Talk at Dark. It's a mini uh, version of a TED Talk where we just give a, a, a big issue, some small words uh, in hopes that it might, you know, let someone else know what's happening that they might not be aware of. Uh, today I'm going to be focusing on something that I am aware of uh, just because of my culture upbringing. Uh, it's the fact that uh, even before this incident, and much certainly after 9-11, uh, Middle Eastern culture uh, was uh, shown in a way, especially in pop culture media, as being very malicious and uh, an evil culture. And uh, today I'm going to prove that that's just not true uh, with my workings of just trying to show everyone that, you know, uh, out of a large population sample, like Middle Eastern people, Islamic people, there's bound to be some people who aren't good, but the philosophies that Islam teaches and Middle Eastern people uh, believe in are generally ones that I believe in, even though I personally am not religious. Uh, I do identify as a Palestinian American, but uh, emphasis on American. We're going to start off right now by showing you a clip of something that just it broke my heart uh, in a good way, even though it was such an awful incident that really shows you the compassion that the Middle Eastern Islamic culture has. And uh, I'll show you that clip right now, or at least um, a portion of a clip to get you uh, an idea of what I'm talking about. I don't hate you. I can't hate you. It's not our way. Showing Rahma, mercy, that is our way. And you were a baby, and you are still a child. His death was already ordained. Maybe the purpose is to save your life, because you're not going to be killed by this society. My family would like very much to be a part of your seeing a better way of life so that this does not repeat itself because I will always be a part of your life. Any life that you take is not just one life. It is all that is connected to that life. But what we she literally forgave the killer of her son and hugged him in the middle of a trial. I mean, if that doesn't show compassion, then I don't know what does. Now this is just one instance of this happening. And I see beauty in my culture and uh, the people that are directly related to me and the people who are not all the time. Um, and it spans a huge area. And it's just unfortunate when all you hear, when you hear Middle Eastern people in the culture is stuff like this. We don't like tennis shoes, we wear sandals, and yet we have sex with goats and ride camels. Or sadly, something like this. Hurry up. Wait, I was born what? here. Get Who does that to people? It's so infuriating. So, what can we do about this? Why is this happening in such a widespread area everywhere uh, i mean i've seen people rally together people who would never talk to each other to rally against middle eastern people specifically in the islamic sects but it goes everywhere you know just because you look some way people will automatically affiliate you to be one way so my proposal is we need more middle eastern people in mainstream media let's start promoting more middle eastern athletes let's start making uh, budgets for Middle Eastern movies to come out to show that there is another side of the Middle Eastern community. I am American, you know? I have 
more in common with people in America than I do in Palestine. But it's sad that either where I go, I get looked at as a minority. With the rise of cyberbullying and everything that's just crazy in the world right now, too, inter the internet has been such a crazy platform for Islamophobia that it's crazy. Uh, just statistics like this. 1,443,000 tweets in March 2016, just one month, were negative uh, Islamophobic speech rhetoric. Uh, and a lot of people do this and you, they would just walk around and it could be your neighbor, it could be anyone. So how do we get to the systemic reason of why this is happening? And it's Partly, if not all, due to mainstream media. We see the terrorist, and we see him as either Russian or Middle Eastern. And the same thing like it was in the 80s with uh, communist countries or Russia. We, we, we were uh, implicitly biased against them. So it's my hope as a society that through media, through art, that we can all learn a little bit about each other and maybe stop the hate and start figuring out what we do have in common because we're all human. We're all living on this earth trying to make a life for ourselves and trying to make the best of the 70, 80 years that we're not even entitled to have. Why fill that with hate? Why fill that with time where you could spend doing something productive? And thank you. This is Musa and this is TED Talk at Dark. Thank you.